You know, there's so much talk about going green, but the big question is what can I do as one person? And with money as tight as it is nowadays, what can I do that won't cost a fortune? Well, right here at McClellan Air Force Base in Sacramento, plumbers are being trained to help us all go green for less. I didn't want to give him the key, but I didn't trust my instincts. I got robbed yesterday, and I know now, your job is the bad one. When you think of a plumber, you might think of the guy that comes to save the day when the sink or toilet is clogged. But there's much more to this career than meets the eye. Now and into the future, plumbers will be considered the champions of the environment, thanks to a new school of thought called green plumbing. Our goal is to retrain 15,000 plumbers in California and 40,000 plumbers across the country in the next four years. Steve Latonin started Green Plumbers. He says in California, 19% of the total energy used is used in the transportation of water. If we use less water, then we not only save water, we save energy. Think about the age of your house and how much water you use when you take a shower. Showers built 30 to 40 years ago used 10 gallons of water per minute. So a 10 minute shower uses 100 gallons of water for one person. The law today allows 2.5 gallons of water per minute. If the plumbers are concerned and they're addressing that to the homeowners, then the homeowners will adopt these changes. When I first started teaching, I didn't think anything about water saving. It didn't mean anything to me. Now I can see where a toilet like this is going to save an average home um, just tons of money. Water saving technology that came out in the 1990s had problems did not have enough engineering. You might have to flush it three times. Right? It's a new one of the water saving functions. Is it's a dual flush. It's a green handle. So if I lift up, that's for liquid waste. If you push down, now it's a gallon and a half for solid waste. And it doesn't cost much, less than $20. All you have to do is change the handle. It's a simple little handle. You don't have to change the valves or anything. Another innovation, recirculating your water while it heats up. When you're at home and you turn on your hot water, it can take up to two minutes to heat up. And during that time, you're wasting one to two gallons of water. But you could be saving 20,000 gallons of water a year. The little pump comes on, taking the cold water out of the hot water side, down through the pump, pumps it back up into the cold water side so we're not wasting any water. Next up, gray water. Gray water in California essentially is illegal to do anything except subsurface um, watering outside. And so um, the new gray water technologies, you know, they can, they can uh, involve using the water from showers and faucets going into the toilet so you're not using drinking water to flush your toilet. We talk about remember when, and, and in with Green Plumbers we say that's what we'll be saying is remember when we used to flush our toilets with drinking water. So that's going to be, um, who knows, five years from now? Green plumbers started in Australia about seven years ago following about a 10-year drought in that country. Now, they were amazingly successful, saving as much as 50% of the water in some of the Australian states. All right, so to find out more on green plumbers, visit the Living Green section of our website on news10.net. You will also find more stories on local efforts to produce environmental alternatives you can use in your daily life. This is really going to catch on. In my upstairs bathroom, you have to run the shower for like two minutes to get it to heat up. Yeah. But five feet away, the sink heats up in like 10 seconds. Not even that. I, mean, I figure that out. I mean, yeah, it's this, coming from the same hot water source. This technology will definitely make a difference. And, and you need a few years to get all the plumbers yeah. trained, or at least a good portion in the United States. And once that happens, they're going to start doing water audits. There's going to be mm -hmm. new jobs available for people to come in and do those audits. And, of course, save homeowners a lot of money. Yeah. You know, if the builders do some redesign in these homes in, mm -hmm. in terms of how they, they do the plumbing. And That's so right. All right, Patty, good stuff. Okay.